Lord, you have been our dwelling place throughout all generations. Before the mountains were born, or you brought forth the whole world, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Hi, homeschoolers. This is Jim Pence with See the Light. We're drawing mountains this month. You know, I love looking at mountains. I love seeing the majestic Rocky Mountains. When you look at a mountain and you realize how big and how massive, majestic, and old it is, it makes you think of how much greater God is. That's our theme today and for the next couple of weeks on the See the Light online art lessons. I hope you'll get some art supplies and draw with me. I'm going to be drawing with chalk, with lecturer's chalk, but this lesson will work just as well with pastels. And you can really try it in other mediums too. Uh, but I'll be working with chalk, so if you want to try to follow along as closely as possible, get some uh, soft pastels and some paper, and uh, let's have some fun drawing together. Well, in this uh, short video, I'm going to show you how to draw a, a distant mountain range uh, with chalk. I'm uh, a performance chalk artist, and I work with uh, lecturer's chalk, which is a little different. It's similar to pastels, but uh, not exactly the same. They're larger and softer. Uh, what I'm doing here, I'd uh, already used some light blue chalk to tone my paper, and now I'm... Uh, trying to lighten that a little bit uh, with uh, some white chalk and uh, as you notice it goes on pretty quickly and uh, it's it's very smooth very soft and uh, you know it's it's actually softer than soft pastels uh, so that gives you an idea uh, it's uh, a, a very good medium if you want to move quickly uh, draw quickly so I have uh, and I've actually uh, I'm, I'm gonna erase what I'm doing here in just a minute but I wanted to show you this part just uh, to give you an idea and I'm coming in uh, with that light blue and I, I really don't like it because it uh, it's actually a little bit too close to the background so I'm just going to erase it and that's one of the other cool things uh, particularly when you're practicing with this kind of chalk I'm just using a felt eraser and just taking it uh, right back off so uh, so I decided to leave that in just to, to show you uh, some of the versatility of uh, lecturer's chalk. I'm working on uh, what's called gray bogus paper. Uh, it's his recycled newsprint. Now I'm using a little darker stick and I'm going to just uh, draw quickly some mountain shapes. Uh, as a performance chalk artist I do a full picture in uh, usually about 15 minutes. It's 40 by 54 in size, so it's pretty large. So I have to draw quickly and, and uh, in these videos that I do you'll see that I move quickly uh, and that's almost instinctive now it's, it's hard for me to draw uh, slowly uh, because I'm so used to moving fast and and this is real time it's not uh, I haven't sp uh, sped up the tape or anything like that um, now I'm uh, gonna come back in with a light blue and soften the edge of that mountain range and just kind of blend it in that's the other thing you use your hands a lot to blend and uh, you get quite dirty with this chalk but it's fun now I'm switching to a color called light peach and I'm gonna work on uh, adding a little bit of light to these mountain peaks so uh, you'll see that I'm just coming in and hitting the sides and just do that very quickly. Uh, I, I apply a lot more pressure there so that uh, the color stands out. But I just want to give the suggestion of the sunlight hitting the, the sides of the mountain. I'm just going to sweep a couple lines across there just to 
give a feel of, of uh, kind of a middle ground and I'm going to add a little green just to uh, give that a little bit of color. Again, I'm not trying to do a finished picture here. I'm just practicing a picture element. But uh, in uh, a very short three minutes and 30 seconds, that's uh, how to draw a distant mountain range. Thanks for watching. I'm Jim Pence and uh, check back again. Thank you.